Hey, right, I'm gonna make a quick video on how to backwash. I just wanna show you, I mean, that's coiled up like it's never been moved. Our pressure is way, way high. We started off over here, and there's, it's at 25. This thing's working hard, hard, hard to even run. So, it's time for a backwash. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the system into uh, service mode. We're in service mode. Everything shuts down. Roll our blue holes out. Make sure it's nice and no kinks. Yeah, extra long one. All right. So next, we're going to take a look at the uh, display here. Should say zero RPM. So I'm going to go ahead and select speed number one and start. And we're going to let it run through its priming phase. It's going to go 1832, and it's going to do that until it gets back to um, speed one. And our pressure is crazy high right now so it's just really 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 dirty filter so once this goes to a, a low speed we're gonna move our handle from filter to backwash so we're just waiting for it to prime there it goes now it's running its low speed all right we're gonna move this guy over to backwash it's gonna start coming out a little bit, but what we need to do is make sure we don't have any kinks. So, I might have to go over there and unravel it some. Just be on the safe side. All right, and now we're gonna kick it on and we're gonna flush all this nasty, dirty stuff out of the filter. By hitting speed number four. That's gonna crank it onto a high speed. And I'll show you how dirty this stuff is. It's gotta be, yeah, it's coming out like chocolate milk. So extremely dirty. We're gonna backwash it for about 30 seconds. there so I'm not gonna hit the stop button I'm actually gonna hit the number one button which is gonna go to low speed essentially once that gets down to zero we can move this over to rinse rinse kicking on it's gonna go from dirty it'll start pushing up clear water down there so that's usually just a quick five to ten second rinse to zero and then um, we can a lot of times I like to put it in a filter hit speed number three which is our kind of everyday run speed you can see the filter uh, the pressure came way down to where it's supposed to be so we're gonna give it one more backwash I'm gonna hit speed number one so I can move my handle move this over speed number four we should get another surge of really nasty water coming out Real murky, real muddy. It's probably from the landscaping and all the dust and wind that we've been getting back here. The system's gonna be a lot happier and wish that, that high pressure limit uh, should go away. All right, so that's been about 20 seconds. Give it another rinse. Let's get to zero. Four, about five seconds. All right, and we're done. That was two two backwash cycles. Um, I'm gonna do another quick one just to be on the safe side because I know this thing was really dirty.
Looks like we got most of it all out. That's just barely coming out dirty. Okay, one more rinse. That's it. Filter is backwashed. Now we can come back over here, put the system back into auto. To be auto, heat pump's gonna kick back on. System's gonna come back online. And of course now this is open. Before the skimmers were closed like that, since there was no water in the pool last time I was here, Normally this handle should be pointing towards the pump so it opens up these valves here. All right, last thing we need to do is we're gonna add DE. So we can see on here, um, this is the 48. So it says right here, the amount of DE required in pounds, right there, 4.8. So we're gonna put 4.8, or we're just round it up to five, five scoops. So your scoop on here is a one pounder. And the, the system's running a lot quieter. It's a lot happier. It's not trying to have to force all that water through the uh, through that dirty filter. So we're gonna grab our ID fire. Fortunately, we have this here available. And we're just gonna put five scoops right here in the skimmer. All right, you're missing your, your uh, little bucket that's supposed to be in there. Now, it looks like the wind blew it away or something. Anyway, I'm gonna have to get a new one out of my van. Hopefully I got one, I can leave it with you. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put five scoops in here actually into the skimmer and you're gonna be good to go so <clears throat> this is something that has to be done every five to seven weeks okay it's not uh, you know once a year twice a year but look this is where the pressure should be when I got here it was extremely high the whole system was all gummed up uh, the pumps a lot quieter it's a lot happier and I guarantee you our, uh, our high pressure limit is gone so uh, that's going to be it for the video. I'll go ahead and get that DE back into the skimmer and uh, it'll be up and going.